Hey guys, what's up? So today I'm going to be showing you how to set up your own music bot for Discord. This isn't going to be one of those mic pass through things, it's going to be you hosting a server on your computer playing music. So we're going to go ahead and get set up first by downloading off GitHub Sexual Rhinoceros's um, custom Discord music bot. So you're going to want to go ahead and do is, um, the links will be in the description, all the links for all the downloads, and you're going to go to the GitHub website and you're going to download the zip file. Once you download the zip file, you're going to want to go ahead and go over to Git. You're going to want to download the Git, um, the Git program or whatever. Um, I'm not entirely sure what this is used for personally, but I downloaded it anyways and it got my bot working, so I'm fine with that. So download 64-bit Git for Windows Setup. Next thing you're going to want to download is Python. A lot of people don't have this installed, but if you do already, that's good. You're going to want to go ahead and um, go to the Downloads um, tab and just click Python or click Downloads. It'll bring you to this page and click Download Python 3.5.1. That is the version you're going to need. So next up, we're going to move over to Notepad++. Um, you need to edit some of the files in Notepad++ and not just normal Notepad because some of the, uh, the formatting is wrong. So um, just click Download and you're going to click this green Download button right here. Looks a little fishy, but it's not. That's what you need. Next up, we're going to set up a bot in Discord. So now what you're going to want to do is you're not going to want to use your main Discord account, whatever one you use to speak on for your server. So cool. this is how, I'm going to show you how to log out of your Discord account. It's going to be really, um, it's kind of weird. So you're going to want to log into Discord on the web browser. You're going to click the settings and you're going to click log out down here. There's no other way to do it than that. I'm sorry. And then you're going to want to go ahead and log into whatever account that you're making the bot for. So you might need to set up a new email or just use an art or an alternate email, excuse me. And you're going to want to log into that account. Now, the there's going to be a specific link that you're going to need to go to that I will also have in the description. Um, Discordapp.com slash developer slash application slash me. This is where you set up your bot. So you can see here that I already have multiple bots. So you're going to want to create a new application. You're going to want to name it whatever you want. We'll name it Butts the Bot. Double T's for bot, of course. Um, and then don't do um, a redirect URI. Um, you can add a description. I don't personally add a description. I'm not entirely sure what that's for. I've never seen a bot description before. So um, you can go ahead and add it in, I guess, if you want. Music, blah, 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 blah. So let's go ahead and choose an icon. I'm going to choose the same icon that we used on the last one, which is going to be untitled.png, which is a picture of Bastion. And you're going to want to create the application. Now, once you've done that, there's one more step. You're going to want to create a bot user. This is going to basically take this account and make it into a bot. So create bot user. Yes, do it. Now, there's multiple things we're going to need on this page that we're going to get to. You're going to need the application ID right here, and you're going to need this token. This token is how your bot is going to be identified. So now that you've set all this up, you're going to go over to your zip file that you had downloaded. Of the bot files, we're going to go ahead and we're just going to rename this real quick since I already have another one on here. Rename it to, and we're going to just drag and drop it. Once you've done that, go ahead and open it up, and this is where we're going to start editing files so that our bot can work. We're going to go ahead and go into config, and so right now there's no options file. So what you're going to do is you're going to run bot.bat. It will say that config file is not found, and it creates an options file. So you're going to go ahead into config, and now this options.ini is here. Now, since you've downloaded Notepad++ and installed it, this is where you're going to need it. So see, if I open this in Notepad, it's not formatted properly. It's very confusing. We're going to go ahead and close out of that, and we're going to open it and edit with Notepad++. This is the first step of inputting your code from our other Discord page. So you can see here that it says email and password for your bot. We're not going to do this. Um, you can see here that it says if you have a bot account, use this line instead. Comment or remove the email slash password options and uncomment the token line. So now what we're going to do is we're going to delete this. There we go. And we're going to take this token line. We're going to com or copy and paste this. And this is our new command. So from earlier, I said we're going to need the token. So you're going to go to your bot page and you're going to create show this token and you're going to copy and paste 
this into here. So it'll s see where it says bot underscore token. You're going to just si select that and paste this in instead. So this is how the, uh, the Python code is going to log into your bot account. So now that you have this set up, you're going to have to get the owner ID. Now with the owner ID, um, I have Discord on my computer here. I'll just show you how to do this in the web browser. You're going to go to your settings. You're going to go to appearance and you're going to click enable developer mode. Once you have that set up, you're going to right click on your name um, on the online list or just your name and your server itself. And you're going to click copy ID. So now I'm going to show you how to do this in the web browser. You're going to go to Discord. You're going to open it. And you're going to make sure that you're on your actual account. So right now I'm logged into my bot account. So we're going to go ahead and log out. And then log back into your other account. Load in. Click settings. Click appearance again. Enable developer mode. And right click it in your server or in your friends list. Same thing. So now that you've done this. You're going to go ahead and let's just do it anyways. Copy your ID, go over to Notepad++, and copy and paste your owner ID in here. So now that you have that set up, you can go ahead and save this with Control-S or your preferred way of saving. You're going to minimize it, and you're going to go back to uh, your Discord page. Now there's going to be another link that we have to put in there. So we're going to have to log out of this. So log out. Log into your bot account. And then you're gonna go gonna go ahead and go over to your applications slash me page, the developers page. We're gonna go to butts the bot, and we're gonna copy and paste this client slash application ID. You're gonna want to copy and paste it, put it put it in a web browser like this or in a notepad. Just keep it sitting there. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to log out of this. So open. We're gonna go to settings, log out. And then you're going to log back into your main account. I know there's a lot of switching around, but unfortunately this isn't very easy and this is how they do it. So you're going to log in to your main account on Discord. And you're going to go over to this new tab. And um, the link will also be in the description. We're going to go ahead and create a new tab. And in place of this client ID, including the uh, little carrots on the side, you're going to put in this number. This number is your bot application number. This is an authentication link. And what this is going to do is this is going to say that this bot can run on your server. So now that you're logged, you have to, for this part, you have to be logged into your main account. And when you're logged into your main account, this will work correctly. And you'll see your server listed down here. So b-bat is the name of my server. I'm going to authorize this bot. So you'll see here, it'll be authorized, no errors or anything like that. Go ahead and close this tab. And now what you're going to do is this is the last step. Well, one of the last steps, excuse me. You're going to go over to your music bot, open this file, and you're going to click run bot.bat. So now it's connecting, and now the bot has joined my Discord channel. So butts the bot. So there's a feature in this that... I don't really appreciate you can tell that music started playing right there for no reason nobody queued up a song this is called auto playlist and what the auto playlist does is it will play a song when no songs are requested so I'm gonna show you guys how to disable that because I honestly don't like that feature because I play songs that I want to hear so what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna go ahead and go back into the config file we're gonna open options.ini with notepad plus plus and we're gonna scroll down a bit now you can see here that there's some quick options here default volume whitelist skips required we're gonna scroll down to use auto playlist yes now what this is is this is play random songs with nothing is cues we're just gonna type in no simple as that we're gonna go ahead and save it and we're gonna go back we're gonna restart our bot so you can tell that the bot's still in here the bot will disconnect after about two to three minutes of the program being closed so just for showing purposes we're going to move it out of the channel and we're going to run the bot again so it's connecting the bot sees that i'm in this channel and the bot connects now you can see here that it's not saying it's downloading any song that's because we turned that off so we're going to go ahead and we're going to play what song should we play something something um iconic red lights so exclaim play red lights 
the bot is going to Google red lights basically and it's going to download the song, download completed, you can see right here, and the bot will start to play a song, I'm sorry I have the bot muted, so we're going to put it back up to 100% and you can see that the bot is now playing the song. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to pause it, exclaim pause, and you can change the volume with this bot with the simple commands, you're going to type in exclaim help to see all the commands, really simple. Um, a pretty awesome program. There's one other feature that I'll show you guys how to change. Um, the sc or the skips required is if if since you're an admin of the bot, you can skip the song without any other votes. But say you have your bot in another channel and you want people to be able to skip, you're gonna type in um, skip ratio 0.0, .0 with skips required being one. And what this is gonna do is it just takes one vote to skip. And it's really simple. So I'm just going to change that back. And now um, that's about it. Um, the way that you're going to get your bot to join other channels is with the same link that we had used before, the auth token link. So with the, the Discord auth2, this link with your bot's application ID number. And you're going to paste it in this slot right here. And then you give this link to somebody else when they're logged into their, their Discord account on their... Um, web browser they'll hit enter they'll see your bot and then they'll be able to select their server and authorize it then you can summon the bot which I'll show real quick so I'll join um, the other channel and I'll do exclaim summon which will bring the bot into my channel the whatever one that the owner is sitting in or whoever summons it is sitting in so that's pretty simple um, that's about it you can also um, one other feature I should show you can um, just pull up any YouTube video that you want. Um, so go ahead and let's do, let's do this YouTube video. Watch your ears, okay? Um, copy and um, the link. You go back into your Discord, exclaim play, and paste the link. The bot will see that I want to play a song. It will start downloading the song, and then shortly after, start playing the song once it is downloaded. So now that all that's been set up, you can Google, you basically Google songs, you can type in exclaim play, just the name of the song, and then start playing it, or that kind of stuff like that. Um, now that that's done, we're going to go ahead and end the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment sections below. Um, I'm helping. Um, I'm open to helping anybody that needs help with the bot. I'll join your Discord server. I'll walk you through how to do it, that kind of thing. So um, all the links will be down in the description. Please leave a like rating. Share this video out. It's very. Um, it's not often that you find a video like this. A lot of them are, you know, having a, a mic pass through thing set up. So go ahead and do all that. And I hope to see you guys later.